homosexual is an inborn thing. You can't get it out of you. If it is in you, it is in you. You can't change it. It is just like heterosexual. Well, um, my name is Just Mom Sombi and I'm from Kenya. I come from Elgon East Hill Meeting of Friends Church. I was a pastor in Kenya after graduating from Friends Theological College, that was 2000. Um, Quakers are well known for peace work. And in Kenya, we, we have the tribal clashes and fighting among the people in Kenya. So I thought I really wanted to work for, to unite my country together. And I couldn't do that, not unless I have like <coughs> basic knowledge about peace. So I joined the Quaker Church simply because I wanted to know more about peace and work towards um, peace in Kenya. So that's one thing that attracted me to Quakerism. Well, um, I have been through rough times. I can't say that it has been easy for me to come out openly as gay, uh, Quaker, Christian. It has been a lot of challenges in my life. One, because I was a pastor in Kenya, I preached and people consider me as a very spiritual person and charismatic. And yes, I am a very powerful pastor, very charismatic. Sometimes even I can speak in tongues. But now coming out as gay, it was a shock to many people. My monthly meeting wrote me a letter that was very bad letter, um, telling me how I am evil. I baptized children there and I hold them in my hands and I was preaching there. And all that I did now, it's nile and void. It is nothing, it is rubbish. And so I had a clearness committee to help me sort out my way out because I wasn't so sure where to go with all these threats and phone calls. I had to report to the police. So talking to the clearness committee, they helped me to apply for the political asylum. And then I applied for political asylum, which I was granted last year, December. My plan was to go back home and support the young Quakers. Um, I've worked with the young Quakers for long and the young Quakers understand me so much and they love me so much in my country and I have a heart for them because these are people that we, we can rely on for, for the future generation of the Quakers. And I, I, and I think in Kenya it's the highest population of the young Quakers probably in the whole world. Um, so my focus or my main focus of coming here was to get the studies and go home and support them. And I know that they, I have so many young Quakers who are gay and lesbian but people in Kenya live a double life. So I wanted to go there, start as you know, a different Quaker church that is welcoming and affirming to support the Quaker young people. I have felt so good because, well, like for example, Alam School of Religion is a liberal college and it's welcoming and affirming because I've seen so many transgender, gay and lesbian people here. And I felt good because they are supportive. I have been going to West Richmond Friends Church, which is welcoming and affirming. Yeah, um, I'm working to, to write my story from the time I was born, how I grew up with my stepfather and my stepmom, how I, I came to know that I was gay. Um, it will include my coming out story. So it's going to be my life in Kenya and my life in the US just to, to, to let people know that being gay or lesbian is just okay and God loves you just the way you are. And it's not that you, you are suffering from mental illness and it's not that you are a demon or anything. It is just the homophobic, people just being afraid. Um, but I really want to write my books so that people can read and create that awareness in the community and I think it will be a great blessing for, for people to read my story. I'm also inspired to look forward to what the articles Quakers have written about homosexuality and the Bible and I'm looking forward to translate those articles if people can give me that permission into Swahili so that at least people can get that, that knowledge. Even though I will not be there physically but if I get my book there and some material there for people to read I will have helped my society so much and if I don't do it who will do it? I, I am here to sacrifice my life and my gift that God has given me to bless my community. Like you, my God, there is none, there is none, there is no one like you, my God. Hakuna, Hakuna, 
Hakuna kama wewe Hakuna 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 mungu kama wewe Na kuabudu Na kueshimu Hakuna kama wewe